Today's cities aren't just places where a lot of people live and work. They're full of intricate networks that keep the water running, the transit on time, and the city functioning. A single car crash in the wrong place can bring infrastructure to a halt. But what if you could anticipate accidents and congestion before they even occur? That's where WayCare comes in. Joining me now in the studio to tell us more is WayCare CEO Noam Metal. Thank you for having me. Now, I'm excited to hear about this. What does WayCare do? So what WayCare is doing is uh, working with cities uh, in the U.S., Israel as well, leveraging predictive analytics to take the data from the city, also from other uh, sources uh, from vehicles as well. Mm -hmm. And through that, provide them predictive analytics that enables them to optimize the traffic systems and know, as you mentioned in the intro, where events are going to happen that are likely to lead to traffic accidents and congestion. Interesting. Based on that, taking action, enabling the first responders. So, so to explain that a little bit. I mean, is this, you know, in real time that it's able to uh, yeah, let's, essentially, yeah. Let's an take example. an example. Uh, if we look at uh, the way police enforcement is spread mm -hmm. out uh, today in most cities in the U.S., they react to traffic accidents as they occur. Uh, what WayCare is helping cities do is take their data both historically and real time and give them an insight into where these road sections are likely to be dangerous in the next two, two hours. Well, shouldn't we be just changing that issue in the first place? I mean, I guess the idea is to then make sure that there are more people watching these areas and aware that they're high risk areas, right? Exactly. So the goal is instead of uh, reacting to the accident, mm -hmm. why can't we flip that equation right. and instead be proactive in putting the uh, first responders and police forces on the in the areas that are prone for those accidents before they occur. So that's an example. Another example is identification of incidents, not only through the data that the city has, but also through vehicle data themselves. Mm -hmm. And by enabling that, enabling action much sooner so that we can clear uh, the, the site much quicker and avoid the congestion that all of us experience uh, both here in Israel, in the U.S., and all around the world. It's interesting. This is almost kind of, it's, it reminds me of ways in its beginnings where it's like you knew when police were close to you or what, what area was congested, what area, um, you know, has an a accident taking place, right? So it's kind of like a better version, like a bigger and better version, but obviously it's not a well, GPS system. Well, what we're really enabling here is uh, thinking about the next step of where we're going as right. cities and smart transportation. So um, it's more from that side. It's not the individual user that's driving their car necessarily. Right. So this is something that a city typically has a traffic management center that really mm -hmm. decides how we get from point A to point right. B. They control the traffic lights, uh, the, the police officers, first responders. We're enabling them to be smarter in their decisions and utilize new technologies it's really interesting. to optimize traffic. So how did you come up with this idea? Uh, really, it started by, we looked at uh, the problem of traffic accidents, which mm -hmm. is one of the biggest problems in the world if you look at traffic fatalities. And we were just amazed at how little resources are put towards this problem, both from a technological standpoint, right. also from an investment standpoint. And so we saw this as a really big problem that we could tackle using our technology and new applications. Uh, and from there, it grew into something much, much larger, which is uh, just the future of how cities are going to manage their transportation and mobility within the city. Interesting. Well, it seems like you guys have created something that's really going to have a positive impact on the future of our cities. I hope that they start using that here in Tel Aviv if they haven't already. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.